welcome hello thank you so much thank you deeply for joining and immersing yourself in this enchanting realm of my youtube channel spell i am your beloved mystical muse enchanted the babbler and if you're here i know your spirit dances in realms much farther for those new to this magical space let me share with you. I am a lifelong transcendentalist with connections to the spiritual sphere. Divination and spirituality have always been my guide. Tools of various kinds, not out of necessity, but for artistry I confide. Since I was but a little girl over three decades ago, decades, <laughs> over three decades ago, <laughs> I've been channeling and reading oracles, don't you know? Tarot and oracles are not my only sight. I divine and proceed beyond with love and insight. Welcome to my mystical sanctuary where mind, body, heart, and soul find an evolution and revolution as their stories unfold. Here, we explore energy management, alchemy, and solutions. As I entertain you whimsically, gifting my mysticism in all its expression. Each video, unscripted and freestyle, I present. Together we dive into the deepest sea without relent. Beautiful souls, feast upon the mana I offer. Sip by sip. Let every light code illumination and activation uplift. I am grateful for our meeting in this sacred space. May your journey here be filled with growth and great. Welcome. 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 Thank you so much for tapping in, turning on, tuning in with I, right? Enchantress of Valor on our evolutionary, revolutionary rise of a high that is happening right now at this mother budging time. Welcome. So we're going to do something a little bit different today because of a dream I had, right? So I had this dream and then it made me think and then, you know, whatever, and I have no excuse, but whatever the case may be, I'm not making an excuse. I just saw another idea. There's an expansion you happening here. You know what I mean? So I had a dream the other day that I did, um, I recorded a YouTube video, but I did another um, enchanting musical 333s. Right. And so I didn't I, I recorded this video and I loved it and all this kind of stuff. Oh. So when I woke up and I thought about it, I really thought like for that second, like that it happened that I recorded another enchanting musical three three threes, which I haven't recorded one in a little while, right? And so when it like cognitive function kicked in and I realized I didn't record another Enchanting Musical 3-3 three, three days. I was like, oh, <laughs> I didn't do that, right? So, um, yeah, so dreams might be really um on high, like, high, like, um, alert, <laughs> and also, um, like, clear visuals. Right. So so when when um so when I thought that and I got like a little bum that it didn't really happen, another idea came to mind and I was like, Well, for your next video you could do something like this. And so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna incorporate the music and we're still gonna get like, you know how like I always like um in enchanting musical three through threes, for those of you that don't that don't know, I will link it and stuff like that in this video. But we, I would share like at least a minimum of three songs that I thought, because I have such a wide range of musical taste and stuff like that. Um, I wanted to share songs and lyrics of songs. And then we played a game in Enchanting Musical 3-3-3s. I would read the lyrics in a weird way <laughs> or in my way and however it was that I wanted to come out. And um and that's it and that's what we would talk about right and that was enchanting musical three days and I would ask you to guess the song like can anybody tell me what this song is before I reveal it to you that type of stuff right so it's fun it's fun it's just um I need to figure out 
um how the reason why the enchanting musical 333s haven't been is because i need to figure out how to allow oh, my music to um really sh be heard right without any interference or like the sound quality messing up and shit like that so whatever you know what i mean so we're gonna do something right we're gonna we're gonna shuffle we're gonna shuffle and the only way for me to shuffle which is interesting so it's gonna be random songs for me too because right i have spotify all right <laughs> i have spotify right i want you to see that i have spotify right and i have my liked song playlist right so if you can see my like songs playlist, you'll see that I have 949 songs in my like song playlist, right? But for whatever reason, it doesn't shuffle, right? But when I press this shuffle right here, then it puts, it puts it to shuffle, <laughs> right? So we're going to shuffle. But when but the thing is when I do this, right? This shuffle. It gives me songs that are not on my playlist too because that's part of it, right? Um Hold on, let me close this all out. <laughs> um Yeah. So, I go to my liked playlist and I have, watch, I turn that off. I can't turn this one off. I get out of it. This song has to come on. I was going to go in front of me. Okay. Um, oh, why did I go in there? Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. All right, so all I think I have to do is hit, well, I already hit shuffle, so all I have to do is hit next, like, so, right, um, next, and a new song will come on, right? So that's what we're going to do. So this one is sky struck, but that's whatever. That's just because whatever. Uh, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> We are going to play musical oracles <laughs> as well, right? Um, I wrote something down too before um hitting record, and it's because it came up again, and so I'm like, all right, um, let me. <laughs> that was such a horrible shuffle. Um, let me let me write it down and see what happens with it, like what further discussion comes into play. This is freestyled in every kind of way, like you already know, that's all I gotta say, right? So I wrote down, there's a certain level of deafness, D-E-A-F-N-E-F-S, -E -F -F, that we have until we are ready um, to hear that which we've become deaf about, right? So it's like, you know, turning a blind eye to certain kind of things or not listening to certain kind of things because you don't want to hear something that you already know that you're going to hear or something like that, or just ignoring, like simply ignoring something, acting like you don't see it, hear it, know it, or, you know, whatever the case may be. And it's like breaking free from that type of, you know, instability because there's a level of dishonesty that exists there that, um, we need to be real about with ourselves because we do ourselves an injustice when we don't allow um, ourselves to hear that which is clear. You know what I mean? So whatever the case may be, right? Fata Morgana, <laughs> right? Not everything is as it appears, even when you think you could swear by it. Some things are just not right, and some things are just not true. Like those hazy water mirages on hot summer days and cargo ships hovering on the horizon. When you discover you have traveled deep into the woods, miles upon miles down a long, winding, incong incongruous road that has left you empty and torn, stop and recalibrate. Shake it up and turn yourself around. Tip everything over and upside down. 
or right side up. Create a path that is true to you, right? So it's all about the illusions too, right? The illusions that can lead one astray, right? To get out of our own ways, right? Sand dollar, right? Intertidal. The shore where the sand dollar digs is called the inter intertidal zone. It exists above and below the water like this fantastic who adjusts to these fluctuating conditions. So too must you learn to ebb and flow in life. Some days are about giving while others are about receiving and they come in waves. Some are gentle and refreshing. Others are unexpected and unforgiving, but each offers experiences above and below your zone. Each offers opportunity to practice and learn, be present and go with the flow, right? I like I like that. All right. So we're gonna do one. <laughs> we're gonna do one. Right. Um and then I'm gonna find the lyrics for it and then we're gonna go over that like we did in enchanting music with the enchanting musical three three threes and see whatever deliveries. Now I have a lot of instrumentals. So if one of the instrumentals comes up, obviously I'll share the instrumental because obviously maybe somebody wants to know that type of song and stuff like that too. Um, you know, because we are multifaceted here. Um, but um yeah. I'm going to share that and then, but we'll skip it again, like, till we get a song with lyrics. Okay. So I don't know what it's going to be. What's it going to be? Right. So it's on, it's on Skystruck. Here we go. Sis. <laughs> okay. I don't know what you're going to love, but hey. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> That's what I didn't want. Okay, I'm back. So you see, sis, you a, uh huh, right? You a bad, right? So the lyrics for that, right? So whether you are male or female here, right? Listen, sis, bro, you a bad, right? Even when you don't feel it, you still the baddest, sis. You a bad. Right? Even when you don't feel it, you still the bad is. It's been a little while since I felt my best. Camouflage ain't good, too. I don't show no stress. Let me tell you right now, baby, stress ain't real. It's a test for your soul that this matrix yields. I don't want to be depressed, feeling down and out. Faking real smiles, but my soul got that pout. It took a long time for me to get to this, but since I'm here, listen. But since I'm here, listen while I break it down like this, cause sis, you're the baddest. Even when you're feeling like the saddest, keep your chin up cause your crown won't fall. And fear is an illusion, so don't worry at all. Your journey is yours. Comparison is the thief of joy. So trust your own journey, breath, breathe, then proceed, that's all. You may not always feel your best and that's quite all right. Just as long as you do your best and focus on love and light. <laughs> Despite what they say, you are right on time. So do not live by the flesh, live by the divine. Right? What? What? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Right? So, so where did I go? Right? Run that back one more time. They didn't hear that line. Don't live by the flesh, live by the divine. Sit. You are bad. Even when you don't feel it, you still the baddest. Sis, you are bad. Even when you don't feel it, you still the baddest. Divinity is your true nature. Over your life, you're the dictator. You're magic, babe. Yeah, you're a creator. And to every bad vibe, you're the terminator. The only way is up, divine, no matter what. Ascension is our mission. We don't give a fuck. So celebrate with us. Overflowing is our cup. High vibe is our life, and we're going up. Ain't worried about yesterday, because today we pray the bad vibes away. So if you want to stay up today and breathe your pain away, then sing this song with me. We live in a matrix illusion and fear is the matrix illusion. So now that we have that conclusion, let go of your fears for your evolution. Shine your light. It's your contribution. Be yourself. No need for dilution. Look within to find your solutions. The one in the mirror, the first one you choose then. All right. So for whoever needed to hear that, right, then you're the baddest, right? And I don't like that word, honestly. Like to describe something, I get it in the content of like, 
this world that we in and everybody want to talk slang and like oh my god you're the baddest means you're the goodest but you're the bestest and the worst you know like whatever so um not the worst is the bestest right <laughs> but still there's still a certain level of deafness like there's certain words like I don't want to be saying oh I'm the baddest I think that's corny like I don't want to be the baddest I want to be the best version of myself every single time. And I don't want to be talking the slang that misaligns me with my shrine because spell cast we do. And when we say certain kind of things, we self-sabotage too because we don't realize the implication that we're putting into that which we do when we say certain things because we think it's motherfucking cool. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I didn't even know I was going to say all of that, but that's just how it be when you flow gasmic on the screen, right? And so we're just going to tap in, turn on, tune into everything, right? Tardigrade defiance. The tardigrade is a prolific archaean life form with nearly 1,300 species on Earth. They defy the boundaries of our carbon-based understanding. Like these microscopic organs living on the edges of extreme conditions, we do not have to, nor do we need to agree. Speaking your mind can bring big change, but defiance is not obligated to be obedient, nor is it defined by disregard. Remember, polarization introduces friction, but listening, empathy, and respect will encourage positive outcomes. Let your voice be heard because you're the baddest. Even when you're feeling your saddest, you got to realize that you are the baddest, that you have every single potential existing within your whole fundamental mind, body, heart, and soul be you, right? So everything that you need to do to get on the elevation of you, the evolution of you, the revolution of you, right? That's dope-tastic too, right? <laughs> Let me see if I can do another song without interruption. <laughs> we're going to do one more right now. And then we're going to continue. We're just going to talk it out and all this kind of stuff. But I think that was good, right? So now, so you see? Like, you don't see that I'm picking. I'm just going next, right? Because it's on shuffle. So it's sis, you're the baddest. Teta. Is that it? I got to see if it's... um. All right, that's just instrumental. This is instrumental too, but this is great. Invocation, Peter Gundry, right? Invocation, oh my gosh, that's great, okay? It's very powerful for meditation and stuff like that too. I'm just sharing, okay? So now we're going to hit it again. Do up, that thing, Miss L'Oreal. Okay, hold up. Okay, hold up. So here we go. Dua, that thing, right? Yo, remember back on the boogie when cats used to harmonize like, anyway, yo, my men and my women, don't forget about the Dean, Surat al Mustakam. Yo, it's about a thing. If you feel real good, wave your hands in the air. I'm, remember, when if you ever watched Enchanting Musical 333s, then you know that I never. I sometimes did it, like, when I played the song, obviously, like, I, I did it to the beat, but when I'm reading the lyrics and all this kind of stuff, I do it to my own kind of, <laughs> I don't know, but however it comes out, sometimes it comes out like the song artist, sometimes I'm just like, whatever, I lost the beat, and I'm just doing my own shit, okay, so it's, it's not about that, it's about the lyrics, and that what you're saying, and all this kind of stuff that we're saying, okay, that's it, yo, it's been Three weeks since you've been looking for your friend, the one you let hit and never called you again. Remember when he told you he was about the Benjamin? You act like you were hear him and then give him a little trend to begin. How you think you're really going to pretend like you wasn't down then you called him again? Plus when you give it up so easy, you ain't even fooling him. If he did it then, then you probably fuck again. Talking out your neck saying you're a Christian, a Muslim sleeping with the gen. Now that was the sin that did Jezebel and who you going to tell when the repercussions fit? Showing you off your ask because you're thinking it's a trend girlfriend let me break it down for you again you know i only say it because i'm truly genuine don't be a hard rock when you really are a gem baby girl respect is just a minimum 
niggas fucked up and you still defending them now lauren is only human don't think i haven't been through the same predicament let it sit inside your head like a million women in philly pen it's silly when girls sell their soul because it's in look at where you be in here weaves like european speak nails done by koreans come again win win come again brother come again my friend come again yo come again <laughs> guys you know you better watch out some girls some girls are only oh wow but you know what i think too like when i'm hearing this right now too so like because right there's a lot of that yo like spirituality and this whole new age spiritualism and all this kind of stuff like is like this whole it's like it's like it's trending like it really is like people could say oh no that's evolution you see how can you speak about you know but nah it's really superficial like if you ever wanted to dive deep in that's what i'm saying like um like like so something appears to be something that it's not and you you the one that sees through that bullshit because it's not like it's like you know people pretending to be something that they're fucking not that's it right so the second verse is dedicated to the men more concerned with his rims than his tims than his women him and his men come in the club like hooligans don't care who they offend poppy yang like you got yen let's not pretend they want to pack pistol by the waist men crystal by the case men still in their mother's basement the pretty face men claiming that they did a bid men need to take care of their three or four kids then they're facing a court case then when the child supports late money taking heartbreaking now you wonder why women hate men the sneaky silent men the punk domestic violent men the quick to shoot the scene and stop acting like boys and be men how you gonna win when you ain't right with them how you gonna win when you ain't right within how you gonna win when you ain't right within oh come again and so that was where you are too right well all the people that want to fucking come at you like and pretend a certain type of way that they're not but they are but they not but they are but they are that type of shit how you gonna win if you ain't right within how you gonna win and some of you too might be having some like dreams with like even old friends right old friends and stuff like that or whatever the case may be because there's certain kind of messages that spirit wants you to see right because the evolution of the we that is you that is here that is now right triumphing in a certain type of way in these type of energies we got this mercury retrograde spinning into effect and people might have you on their mind and their chest like mm, i wonder how they're doing but you're doing your fucking best and it's now is like okay Right, so they want to come at you sideways, thinking that they know something that they want to spin about who they think you is or what. But now you know what's up. Now you know what's up, and now you're like, mm, right? I'm not turning that deaf ear anymore. I hear clear, right? And so, mm -hmm, so watch out, watch out, look out, look out, watch out, look out, look out. Girls, you know you better watch out. Some guys, some guys are only about that thing, that thing, that thing. Blah, blah, blah. Guys, you know you better watch out. Some girls, right? And that's just the hook and all this kind of stuff for the Lauren Hill song. So, that was our little musical remedy number right now. <laughs> but because my phone is on like high octave and whatever, and I'm not gonna put it on do not disturb at this moment in time. Pegasus, Wellspring, one of the most adored and admired mythological creature the pegasus is the quintessential fantastic being to represent the original and bountiful source of inspiration and creativity glorious brave and ardent pegasus bestows determination and courage to glide through the complex and difficult task of life do not be afraid when the sun begins to fade the caverns plunge and the mountains multiply instead embrace its fervor raise your hand to the sky and see where the journey will take you this is the wellspring of life launch nest monster <laughs> how ironic is that right it's talking about pegasus the wellspring of life and then you got this the launch nest monster which is also when you think about it when you think about fear oh my god that's so funny oh my goodness my cousin i was in lady strange at lady strange she has this thing that looks like nessie and she said the name is nessie we literally this was yesterday <laughs> <laughs> so launch nest monster is a spiritual message for us right now it's about our curiosity right so this fantastic has made its mark on folklore since the sixth century real or not the launch nest monster is an enchanting current of inspiration one would be foolish to disregard the influence of nessie 
It ignites our imagination. We are riveted by its tales and swept away by its magic. In the same earnest, get curious about your life and explore every facet of this great adventure. Leave no rock unturned. Curiosity is an essential ingredient of joy, which leads to fulfillment, right? And that's part of it too, right? And you're also, some of you too could be simplifying a lot of things, right? You could be organizing, cleaning. Like we're in that re, right? Revise, revision, re reload. It's like, it's like it's 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 a revision you're making revisions of things you're you're cleaning up you're organizing you're you're purging like so there's a certain purging and there's a certain hermiting mode like in terms of um tending to your what whatever it is that you're tending to now whether it's wounds whether because that's what i'm hearing right for some it's wounds some of it's your talents your skills your projects like you're you're, you're like a firecracker is lit up your ass and so go into this hermit mode this is the perfect time to go into that but we're in that virgo energy right where to go within to win right how you gonna win if you ain't right within how you gonna win if you ain't right within come again and it's going within and it's getting shit done right this is the perfect energy to to get shit done right dragon blood tree attuned Dra dracania cinnabari which is also known as the dragon blood tree as an endemic species of the socotra archipelago in the arabian sea with its dark red sap and umbrella-like canopy, it is hard to ignore this fantastic tree. This being shares a strong relationship with the wildlife, living synergistically under it and around it. Cultivate your connectivity. Embrace the web you are a part of and attune yourself to its needs. Connection is vital to life. Monarch butterfly transformation. Major transformation happening for you right now at this time. How do you define survival? Is it existing enough? Is it plodding along, minimizing risk and avoiding confrontation? Okay, or would you perform more joy and amusement? Each monarch butterfly undergoes four transformations. As you age, you will also experience phases resulting in change. These periods will test you. The question is, have those minutes, months, or years that have passed been as fulfilling and rewarding as you would like? If not, break free and transform. The monarch butterfly, the dragon blood tree, right? The launch nest monster, the pegasus, right? Here we are. I love that. I love that. Right? So illuminating that which we must illuminate. Because it's time to illuminate all that needs to be illuminated. So when I look down at the last, at the bottom of this card, it's paranoia. Right, so paranoia could be letting like paranoia from the cosmos, <laughs> right? Don't blame it on the cosmos. Don't believe it. I, I jokingly always say, oh, Mercury is retrograde. Like it was some shit. Like even when I stutter or things like that, right? Or whatever the case may be. But like, um, don't blame everything on something external from you. Like have some accountability and all that kind of stuff too. And use these times that might you might be a stumbling block or something like that to really finer tune your your skill finer tune your communication finer tune your artistry finer tune your craft finer tune that which you are finer tune is giving you the opportunity to finer tune all that you are to stand as majestic as you are as you be right standing here majestically right like it's a little dinosaur definitely go check out my blog enchantingbabble.blogspot.com i have also been blogging and sharing my wonderful journey of 10,000 steps with my beautiful daughter every day we have been journeying 10,000 steps plus more and i have been documenting it and sharing it on my social media platforms as well but on enchantingbabble.blogspot.com is where the writer and me, the scribe and me comes to life and I share in a whole other different type of way. So you definitely can go check that out over there. And you could also subscribe to my Instagram. You can follow and subscribe. Those are two different options, two options available to you on Instagram at Enchantress, E-N-C-H-A-N-T-R-E-S-S. -S. That's me, don't want at only. Okay, you can follow for free or subscribe and invest and invest 
for your best, <laughs> right? Uh huh. So that's how it is, right? Celebrate tea time. All right, <laughs> right. So let's celebrate. What are we celebrating? What are we celebrating? What should we be celebrating? Celebrate the good time, right? Taking like appreciation for every little thing, even through the hard times, right? Puppet master, certain kind of things, certain kind of things might not be your cup of tea, certain kind of things that you might be dealing with, certain kind of um, um challenges that you have to get through, you rise from, but there's still room to celebrate, even if you have to give yourself the time to grieve, even if you have to give yourself the time to 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 recalibrate, even if you have to give yourself to do certain kind of things, after you do those things, celebrate, because you know what it took to get you to that space of being able to recalibrate, to regroup, to reconnect with yourself in certain kind of things too, right? Celebrate, dressed up. Right, dressed up, made up, and ready to enjoy himself. Kitty stops dancing for a moment to look at the balloons. To appreciate the sounds and sights of a party in full swing. The noise, exuberance, and joy going on all around them. That's gratitude, right? Day-to-day -day life is full of work and worries, responsibilities, and chores. But it's also full of chances to experience perfect moments of joy. If only you stop and look for them. That's all it takes. Grab the opportunity to revel and cut loose when you can. For today, pause and consider the reasons you have to celebrate. Take some time to acknowledge and appreciate the progress that you've made, the blessings in your life. Enjoy yourself today and have some fun, right? It's about celebrating the joy of your own freedom that you are creating for yourself through your own power of, of, of manifestation, right? Right? Through your own power of manifestation. And your ability to transform, to work through, to transform that which is you in the way that you want to, too. Right? Because you need to fulfill your obligations. It's tea time. A cup of tea stands on the table. Three masked mice sitting ready to dunk their fishy biscuits. Our kitty doesn't look happy here. Our kitty doesn't look happy to share or even be there, but she stays. This is her family. Where else would she be? Life's not just all about dreams. It's also about the realities that enable us to enjoy our lives. Like working, earning the money to pay for fun. Like fulfilling familial, familial obligations when we only half want to be there. Families love a connection to our past, but also self-sacrifice at times. There are times we don't want to take part, but when it's an important ritual or a way to spend time with those who matter, catch up on their days, opinions, news, and give them a part of ourselves, we should do it. So there could be two that there could be time that you're making for to spend with people that could be part of your family, close friends, or certain kind of things, right? You have other things that you could be doing or whatever the case may be, or you're just on two different paths, you know what I mean? But you're taking the time to just be responsible because you're thinking of others, others are thinking of you. And this could be like, close but distant family or family that's close but you've been distant or something like that too and there's means to celebrate or you could be around people that you know you meet around this time right every year or something like that or you plan something an outing or something like that or you're making plans um with the people that you care about or whatever the case may be and making that time to celebrate because you're grateful for this kind of thing you're grateful for this kind of opportunity you're grateful for for this because if you didn't have a connection with this person that you're making time with or the people that you're making time with then you wouldn't be making time with them because think about the people that have fallen off your life right that are no longer a part of your life are you making time for them no so these people that you're still making time for is because some part of them matters to you right in some kind of way and so and then also because you've come into this position of discernment too that now you have been clear about who you're giving your time to and who you're going to waste your time on like you know first first and foremost yourself right giving to yourself first and foremost so that you could be an overflow with cupeth of loveth that can give it that which you are naturally right without any kind of obstructions and 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 and, and distortions like in your sight and so opening up to this leveling of gratitude with all your might, right? Not sitting there ungrateful either, 
right? It could be a lack of gratitude in certain attitudes about certain things because maybe it's not exactly how you want it to be. And so you're not appreciating. Imagine sitting at a table with those that you eat with. Like these are the people you choose to eat with and you're sitting there with a gawky face, right? Like, why are you sitting there like that? Like, why does why do these mice deserve that attitude from you, right? Why why these my my family my your loves the ones that are sitting eating that work with you that are a part of your team why do they get this side of you too like you know what i mean this is like when i when i see like this um makes me think of like you know two people that act one way in front of the camera and meanwhile behind the scenes they're brooding then they're, they're miserable they're not happy like you know, and they're just not pleasant to be around and stuff like that, right, too, and I'm not saying that that's you, but I'm just saying, like, when you think about it, too, it's just, like, why sit there with that face when you could really be sitting here with this face, like, oh, my gosh, I'm so grateful for everything in my life right now, despite what nonsense could be going on, despite if I, everything doesn't look exactly how I want it to fucking look, I'm working on it, shit takes time, And now I just feel like there's certain levels of deafness that we have or that you've had in regards to yourself. Like, it's like, um, it's like I said something the other day, right? I said it to my cousin, I believe, right? That um, I was ignoring something in my intuition that was being told to me. And, and I was just dismissing it, dismissing it, dismissing it, right? Because it had nothing to do with anybody else. It was about me. So it wasn't like, um, like it had anything to do with anybody it was about something with me that I didn't feel comfortable doing and that spirit was pushing me past my comfort zone and saying that I needed to do and I was ignoring that right and so it took and it was funny because it wasn't asked it wasn't warranted and it came in a very respectful and from a a, a good source for it to come from but they just so happened to mention it in a in a in a very um in a very wise way and they even asked if they can say something because they had something to say and they were, well I'm gonna let you know and they and they and they and they gave it to me raw and it's funny because I laugh because I'm like this is exactly what I've been ignoring from my own spirit and it takes sometimes it'll take I get emotional it'll take like they're like all right you want to ignore me all right we're gonna bring the humans here to bother you and let you know and what you don't want to hear you don't want to be confronted about this all right so here you go a stranger somebody that doesn't even really know much about any of that kind of stuff coming to you to tell you what they think about what you're doing because they observed it they peeped it they, they saw it and they're like whoa 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 you need to change this and so i did i was like okay <laughs> Well, I finally heard it, right? And sometimes it could take that. It could take, you could have all the intuition in the world. You could have all the connectivity up and we're still looking for that validation. And so we turn a certain level of deafness, right? To our own self, to our own intuition that we naturally have until we're ready to fucking hear it. You know what I mean? So I just really want us to meditate on that, right? And that, and that line of thought and that line of thinking about what have you turned a, a, a deaf ear to in your own intuition, in your own self, in your own life. Like, it's like also like for me, like, you know, I'm cutting back on certain kind of things. Like this is just, this could be dietary. I'm just giving an example, right? Like how, like, okay, you want to work on, you know, uh, a flat stomach, let's say, right? Um, And you're eating certain kind of like, dairies or you know creamers like you know like or something like that like cakes and or things like that and it's like okay and you've been hearing it like you gotta cut back you gotta cut back you gotta cut back you gotta cut back right you gotta you gotta eat in moderation you gotta like sometimes you gotta take it away right to to gain that control again to to whatever the case may be but anyway it's just it's different for everybody right um so yeah so what have you turned the deaf ear to within yourself that needs to be transformed? All right, that's what I have for you. Till next time. Bye.